Hi there, and welcome back to Word Soda for Life. Have you ever heard of that band, Panic at the Ikea? Yeah, they wrote that song, I Write Apple Sin, not Tragedies. Ah? Ah? Ah, you get it. Anyway, welcome back. And if you've never seen this brand of soda, don't worry, I haven't either. Uh, that's because uh, our friend of the channel, Stephanie, you recall her from the Pilk episode, and uh, her partner, Mr. Stephanie, who is weirdly a legitimate Pilk lover, um, went to Iceland a while back and brought me back not one, but two different types of drinks. Um, and so the first one I thought we'd try is this. Um, now, this is actually Appleson from, and I'm going to butcher this, Gil Skallagrimsson Brewery uh, in Iceland. Um, and if you've never heard of that either, yeah, yeah, me either. Um, so first, let me confidently say that this is the first Icelandic soda I've ever had. Uh, and secondly, I do have some questions, like what the hell did the apples do that turned them orange because like what sin did they commit was it lust have you ever seen a lustful apple is that a thing um i don't know but no actually um as i was doing some research on this i learned that apple sin is well i guess is rather comes from the danish word apple which is literally apples from china um, Sina, S-I-N-A, is the Danish word for China. So legitimately, this is just lazy naming. <laughs> They're like, you know what this weird thing is? It's an apple. It's a Chinese apple. And it does beg the question, did somebody just try to, like, bite into an orange? Like, like... <sighs> Like, cause that's the real sin. That's the real sin right there is trying to eat an orange peel and all because that sounds disgusting. Um, <laughs> but long story short, apple sin is just a generic word for orange. So what we're doing is trying an Island Icelandic orange soda today, which is still like really cool. And speaking of which, I mean, so we don't try a lot of international drinks on the channel. It's not that I'm against it. I just don't really have an avenue for it. Um, but out of the other couple of international sodas that we've had, one was that Inca Cola that was that aggressive yellow highlighter flavor, but was quite good. It tasted like a cream soda. And the other one, and I forget it, but it, it is on the channel, was this Turkish soda that had, no, not Turkish, I'm sorry, uh, Maltese soda um, that had the equivalent of like orange bitter. It was like a Coca, -Co it tastes like a Coca-Cola that had a little bit of orange peel in it. Um, and it was a little bitter, which, but I enjoyed it the more I drank. So I'm kind of fascinated by this idea that out of the th now about to be three, four and sodas we've had, that two of them have had some sort of links to orange. Um, and I really think it perhaps speaks to the exoticism that, or at least previous exoticism that uh, folks in Europe thought of when they thought of Asian countries and oranges, that this was an exotic flavor to try. And I think that's kind of fascinating um, because for us in America, like, shoot, oranges are in Florida, whatever, go get some. Uh, but even then, the history of oranges and orange groves in Florida is um, wrapped up in Asian-ness. Um, and it's utterly fascinating. I would highly recommend diving down that rabbit hole if you have some time. But we do not have time. We are back to the soda. All soda. All the time. Uh, unless we're not. The end. <laughs> but um, another small, fun, interesting fact is that um, this particular flavor, the the, the Icelandic, uh, the uh, Eagles Appleson soda, um, also at Christmas time, apparently they mix it with a malt beverage and call it a uh, what do they call it? Joel Aho, and I'm sure I've not pronounced that correctly. Um, which is just a Christmas ale, but to me it sounds like if they're mixing those two drinks together to create an alcoholic drink, they could probably just skip the whole thing and go get a Smirnoff Ice screwdriver, which is just an orange malt beverage. Um, 
why are you working so hard, <laughs> Iceland? Just because you and your other Scandinavian countries want to assemble furniture or do weird plastic blocks so you can assemble things doesn't mean you have to assemble your drinks. You could just get it pre-made, but what do I know? Um, and I guess also... Finally, as a fun fact, um, the Eagle Skalgrimson Brewery is actually the oldest brewery in Iceland itself. It was founded in 1913 um, and is still in existence today, obviously. Um, but it's mostly, primarily a brewery. It, it brews beer. Um, I'm forced to conclude, and I probably could have done a little more research on it, but honestly, y'all are here for the soda, not for the, not for the science sociology i don't know um but what i find fascinating is that we have we've gotten more sodas that have their roots in breweries and so it does make me wonder if iceland also went through a prohibition um it wouldn't surprise me if they had um just because that seems to be a thing for the 20th century but it does make me ask that question um but with that, let's get on with this. Uh, holding this up, you can see it's a pretty basic like design. I do like the elegance and the way that the blue and the red like really pops against like the orange. Um, there is no spoiler alert. It does just say orange soft drink here. Uh, what I find fascinating, well not fascinating because this is Icelandic, is seeing what the recipes, not recipes, um, the description of the ingredients are like so we have gostrikor in hald sefni kjort vatten sikur bag dafni sugar oji lifarni and so but they do have it in english underneath and that really corresponds to soft drink ingredients carbonated water sugar flavoring acids color <laughs> So that's a lot of fun. Um, but let's see. If, I don't know why I do this. <laughs> like, you can't read this with the camera. But I, I do find that fun to see stuff in other languages and see what kind of has a parallel translation. And with that, and also, heads up to the Iceland uh, Icelanders, Icelandic people, because this is a twist stop. Aw, yeah. And with that, let's get this open. Ooh. It does smell orangey. It smells actually uh, more fresh orangey than like artificially orangey. Um, like fizzy orange juice kind of. And with that, bottoms up. That's really good. It's a little flat, but I'm not going to judge that um, from here because, honestly, because my friend, well, Stephanie, brought it back from Iceland, and they went a couple months ago. So it, this could easily be a case of this is just a little older, or it could have been shaken up in travel. So I don't want to really judge the fact that it's flat. Um, I could, it's, it's good. It doesn't blow me away. Um... I would almost equate it to um, very slightly fizzy tang, <laughs> and that's not bad. It's it's sweet. It's sweeter than I not sweeter than I expected because it's it's really not super sweet compared to our American sodas. Um, but it it it's sweet, but not too sweet. But it really is just the equivalent of lightly fizzy tang. Uh, and if that sounds appealing to you. Um, go for it. I, I like it just fine. Um, I, I would, I would, I would, I hate to say it. I would drink it again. Cause I say that a lot. I'm probably not going to have an opportunity to drink this again, unless I order it from the internet or I go to Iceland, which maybe I'll do. Who knows? You don't know my life. Um, but it, it's, it's good, but a, and I hate to say it doesn't blow me away. Cause that sounds very like, Oh, well, look at you. But it, it's nothing to write home about. Had had this been, it, it might have, it's the equivalent of star kissed, frankly. It, it's it's flat star kissed. Um, 
Oh my God, not Star Kiss. Star Kiss is the tuna. <laughs> How could you let this happen? No. <laughs> um, sun Kissed. It's flat Sun Kissed, not Star Kissed. Because if it tasted like tuna, that would be a terrible drink. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it, it's good, but it doesn't really. It, it's not anything like earth shattering. But it, it's nice to know that, like, if I ever go to Iceland, I can have a soda. And I'm here always for that. Um, with that, next week, I have to admit, we're at a fork in the road. Now, I have another Icelandic drink that Stephanie brought back for me that I'm considering trying. But there's also a darker flavor, an American flavor, a Coca-Cola flavor that sounds like a food abomination. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. And if you don't, maybe you'll be surprised. And I have to admit, I'm kind of toying with the idea of one over the other. So if you want to see what soda we're drinking next week, you'll have to tune in. Uh, Until next time, drink weird. And uh, don't go to Iceland for orange soda. Stay home and drink a Smirnoff Ice Sun Driver and pretend it's Christmas Ale. See you next time.